five counts of being found in possession of uh, property suspected to be proceeds of crime. So the first one relates to a house um, in uh, um, what's the name Kingsland. Second one relates to a uh, hundred thousand dollars. The third one relates to fifty thousand dollars. Fourth one to eighty thousand dollars, and so on. So it's basically being found in possession of property suspected with proceeds of crime. He's supposed to appear in court on the 21st of uh, April 2022. You are welcome so that you can come and listen to the drama that will take place in court when the prosecution will try to prove that indeed I'm guilty. I want to go and show the whole world that in Zambia to borrow money has now become a criminal offence. That's what I want to go and prove in court. That to borrow money, when your company borrows money from another company, you commit an offence. This is what is on, on trial on the 21st of April. Thank you very much. All of them about my account having so much dollars here, so many dollars and so on. In one account, the same dollars are being counted and they are saying this is the proceeds of crime. So I want to go to court, so in court they can go and prove how it is proceeds of crime. How many people in Zambia have dollars in their accounts? How many? Is being in possession of dollars in your account a crime? So we'll have to go and prove this in court. And I'm happy that it has happened because all the time I was walking the streets of Lusaka, just thinking people are thinking I'm a thief. Finally, they have given me an opportunity to go and prove in court that I'm clean. This is a good opportunity for me. And I've said before, friends of mine in the Patriotic Front, for them to come for me, you should know that no one is safe. All of us in the Patriotic Front, be ready, my brothers and sisters. Be ready. And when they call you to the police, please volunteer, go quickly, so that we can prove ourselves innocent. So that quickly, they'll have nothing else to talk about. Instead of fixing drugs in hospitals, they are calling us thieves. They have no drugs in the hospitals and saying they are no drugs because PF store. How can that be? We left drugs in hospitals. Now they even use the expired drugs they give them to people, and now they don't even have any Panadol whatsoever in all these hospitals. What kind of government is this? They are spending time sending police here. Instead of those policemen going to guard the city market, going to guard places where criminals are, they are sending police officers to come and guard me. Am I a fugitive? Am I a treason suspect? I'm only being suspected of having money in my account. That's all. The fact that I had money in my account has become a, a, a crime. And for that they bring police. This is the same reason why they are lining up police every day.